This is the wearable everyday look that I came up with. I think that it's really great whether you're going to the office or whether you're going to be doing some shopping. You could even wear this out at night. If you're going to go out, you could, you know, darken up the lipstick a little bit. It could be, you know, a little bit more dramatic if you wanted it to. What I did with this look as well is I used absolutely as many products as I possibly could that I have that I know that are on sale for Black Friday, Cyber Monday right now. So I have on my face a little bit more expensive makeup than what I normally wear. Yes, I love my drugstore still, but I wanted to make sure that since there are such great sales on that you guys could see some of these products in action and what I'm really loving. So if you want to see how I go from this to this look right here. Keep on watching. Right now, I'm going to have my hair back, no earrings on, and yes, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Let's get into this video so you can see how I created this wearable everyday look with all kinds of products that are on really good sales right now. All right, let's go. If you find that you get oily during the day, pick up a tissue and just blot those places that crease or that might get super oily during the day. It just helps so much before you start your makeup. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. With this primer, you have to work a little bit faster because it will dry down in a teeny tiny bit. goes a long way, but the reason that I love it is because it just takes out any redness whatsoever, any darkness that I have, and it just completely gives you a beautiful canvas to start your eye makeup look. And then Tatcha, that's also on a really good sale. There's one pump I'm gonna use for all over my face. This is so nice, sinks in like a dream. Oh my goodness. This is so hydrating and it just, it really truly does feel like silk. And I love this stuff. And then I'm gonna use another pump for my neck and my decollete because I do have a lot showing today. Another brand that is on sale for 25% off is Fenty. And I have their um, powder that is in the lavender. It's just the loose setting powder. That's what I'm going to put on before I put on my foundation. If you haven't seen that video, I will make sure that I link it. It's a video that shows you that you can put on powder right after your primer. It just helps your makeup last all day and look even more refined. I'm gonna go over those eyes to try and set that down a little bit. This is a super fine powder, and what's lovely about it is that lavender is gonna bring up or not make you look so sallow or so dull in your complexion. It's gonna help brighten up underneath your foundation. I really like that. By the way, reefer brushes are on sale as well. This is the number 22. Those are 50% off. Some of my very favorite brushes. I use them almost in every single tutorial. I'm going to use the tape and I'm going to place the tape. This is the Line Up Makeup Tape and this is going to help make the eye look pop because I'm going to show you a little bit of a technique where we're going to do a little faked wing liner. I have found that I cannot do winged liner at all. It just makes an absolute mess. And so this just helps fake it and fake it till you make it, right? Ruffer 01 is what I'm starting out with for a brush. And I am going to take in the Tartlet Full Bloom Palette. I did show this in a video very recently. I am going to mix this peach color right here with the lightest color in the palette to achieve a very, very light color for my transition. We're gonna try and make that as light as we possibly can. Starting out here at the end of the tape and just go in and kind of go in a straight line. I don't do windshield wiper motions. I just go in and I am using a very light hand because I don't want that to get too dark too quickly. Go in towards the inner corner, but I don't bring it all the way over because if I brought it all the way over, it's gonna go into here and it's gonna make some darkness. I'm using a peach now, you might think, well, Mel Melissa, you always say you're cool toned. Why are you using a peach, which is an obvious warm tone? Sometimes peach on this transition color, because you use other cool tone colors the rest of the time, sometimes peach peach can really give you a brightness that other colors can't give. All right, same brush. We're going to go into this color right here, which is kind of a cool toned mauve color. It's a beautiful color. And I'm just going 
to make this one kind of the outer color. So I'm bringing it down onto that brow bone, into that brow bone and into the crease and across just a little bit. I'm kind of just making it so that we have the gradient look there, something very soft and yet something that you can definitely tell that it is a gradient. So you can see that I just brought it below the transition color. EK Beauty brush number 209, tiny little blender brush. I'm going to take this color right here first and I'm going to just dot it into that brown color to get a deeper color. Now I'm going to just wiggle this right here into this outer corner, this outer V part, and just ever so slightly trail it up towards the tail of the brow. You do not want to get this too muddy right away. You want to really just work with it really lightly. Keep in mind that when I do this for myself, I can do it a lot quicker. Um, but you know what? I love makeup and I love doing this. It just makes me feel so good to, it's almost like it's my therapy. So sitting down and doing makeup is something that is really fun for me and I don't mind spending a lot of time on it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the BK Beauty, this is the 207 brush. I'm gonna go into the very darkest color in the palette. I'm gonna tap that off really well and I'm gonna show you that all I'm gonna do is go into this corner right here, darken it up and very, very, very lightly trail it out the tape. That way it's going to look like I've just put a wing on there without there being an actual liner or wing of any kind. This is so easy to do because the tape will guide you and if you really just paint it just barely towards the brow and you're really just light-handed with it, you can build it up to be more dramatic. Since we're doing a wearable everyday look today, I'm not going to get it too dramatic. All right, I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna clean off that original brush that we had and I'm just going to buff everything together so that it looks very, very cohesive and continue to bring out those colors towards the tail of the brow. All right, I'm gonna choose this very subtle pink right here to go across my lid. It is extremely subtle. That's why I'm gonna put it on with my finger because if I didn't, none would show up. So I'm gonna put that across my lid. Like I said, this is an extremely, extremely subtle color. I love this palette for that. None of the shimmers are bam in your face shimmers. They're just subtle colors. And I'm just gonna take my brush again the original brush and just buff everything together. That's pretty much mastering the outer V. Let's take off the tape. You can see that now I have just a teeny tiny wing that is done out of brown. I just think that it is a beautiful look. Let's move on to doing our concealer. We chose Charlotte Tilbury because it's on sale, but this one is in medium. This is kind of an orangey color. It actually works really well for me. My dark circles look so bad today because of the crinkling or the dryness from my tretinoin. So, oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time with those, but I will continue to try and use as much of the products that really give me a lot of moisture to try and combat that throughout the day today. Oh, by the way, this is the BK Beauty brush with Angie Hot and Flashy set. And I think that everything is on sale at BK Beauty right now as well. I'm just dotting this across the parts that I know that a lot of times my uh, foundation can't cover. And then the foundation that I chose to use is the Tarte Face Tape. This is on sale as well. I'm so excited about that. This is in 22N and believe it or not, this is a good color for me. I am telling you, I don't find good colors very often. This is a Dampen Beauty sponge. But this is Max Fix Plus. Everybody asks me all the time why I spray this onto my sponge. I do that because when I put one spray or one pump on there, it will help to even out my makeup, even on a sponge. It really just kind of, I guess, thins it out a little bit so that it really just will glide across the skin. And it, I don't know, I just have been doing that for years and years. I used two pumps. I'm actually, I might have used three pumps. And I always start down here on my neck and I'm just distributing that as good as I can without getting it on my clothes. And yes, sometimes I do get my makeup on my clothes. I get asked that all the time as well. How do you keep your makeup off your clothes? Well, I don't. Um, I just work with it, I guess. It doesn't bother me. 
So this foundation for me, this is one of the easiest foundations that I've ever used, ever found. It will cover in one coat and I will definitely have it on at the end of the day. It's just so pretty. For my brows, I actually didn't have a product that I felt like I wanted to um, feature that was on sale. So this is just the L'Oreal, let's see, this is the Brow Stylist Definer. It's got the little fine tip and this one is in ash brown. And I am not going to do this on camera because brows are the bane of my makeup existence. So I'm going to go do this off of camera and I shall be right back with you, my friends. I'm in shock. The brows did pretty good. Kosas has um, a brow. It's called Air Brow. And I really enjoy this one as well. This has got a very fine tip on it. It feels like it might have a few fibers in it. This is a little bit warm for me but if i use it in conjunction with a very ashy pencil it seems to do really well so i'm just going to use this to set my brows in place so if you're doing everyday makeup don't make your brows too stark but you also don't want to neglect your brows because the brows really frame the eyes and it really brings the eyes to life so remember that and i like this product a lot it coats the hairs that you do have and keeps them in place so that they they do look a little bit more fluffy a little bit more like they have volume in them okay now to connect that under eye part this is a bk beauty 204 smudger brush very nice brush i love it i'm going to go into the color that we used um, to do the second part of the transition or just below the transition i'm going to load that up a little bit and i'm going to stay way out here and i'm just going to connect it to that dark dark color it's a little bit hard to see this when i do it because you're wanting that to look like a wing, but you're also wanting this to look like just a shadow. Oh my gosh, I just did that liner and completely forgot to do my concealer. Kosas is the brand that I've fallen in love with for my concealer. This is so, so good. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this. So I'm going to put a heavy dot right here in the corner. This brightens so much and this is not drying and yet it will dry down to where you don't have to uh, set it with a lot of powder, which is when I get super dry looking, is when I get a lot of powder. So I'm gonna go back to my Angie Hot and Flashy brush, and I'm going to just kind of pull it across and kind of distribute it a little bit. And you're using a very light touch, and you can see that even as I'm doing that, there wasn't very much on my eye. Make sure you go right up into this area right here. I take it all the way out here onto my temple and it gives an illusion of pulling the light up or you know, give your, giving your look a lighted look all the way across. I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna put like a tiny dot on it. I mean, I'm not even like putting hardly anything on there and I'm just going to go straight down in the sallow part of my eye where it looks so um, dark where I get the most darkness so I'm not putting that anywhere else and the other thing is is that the wetness or the moisture on the, the sponge itself now I'm going to go over all of this it's going to pick up any extra product that might you know dry down look cakey and it's going to keep all of that from looking really cakey throughout the day now you all know that I ditched my concealer but man oh man this Kosas concealer is it's really good and you can order from Kosas right now during the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale order from them the more you order the more you get off I think it's either 20 25 or 30 percent off and I just I haven't found a product from them that I don't like yet. And they have free shipping on everything and free returns if you don't like it too. So that's kind of nice. All right, the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I did show you that I really like this in a video and I gave two of them away. The winners have already been sent out their prizes. So that's fun. Um, I will be doing giveaways probably completely through December. I enjoy doing giveaways and this is just my way of being able to give back and being able to let you know how much I appreciate you and how special you are. I put this on a brush first and I'm just going to dot the brush across here so I don't make such a mess just getting too much on at once, which this is going to look like a mess for a second. And then I'm going to put it on my jawline right there and I'm going to start to brush it out 
brush it down the chin and then we're just going to buff this in and i love this stuff it is such a beautiful color and it just oh my goodness it's so pretty it blends in like a dream by the way that was a rougher 19 brush that i did all of that work with and then this one right here is the bk beauty 104 and i'm going to go into the color that they have right here for a bronzer now keep in mind i don't feel like this is the best bronzer but i did want to um, kind of highlight as many um, hourglass products as i could because they're on sale as well which never happens as we all know and i'm just going to bring that down just a little bit from where i put the charlotte tilbury and down my nose and whatnot just to kind of give a faux tan look and beautiful powder to be able to kind of blend with because it doesn't seem like you put a lot of powder on and it doesn't get cakey at all okay my hourglass double-ended blending brush i put this in a video one time and i thought it was a huda beauty brush and it was a whole thing anyway this is from kosas this is their um color and light cream i think that's what it says and it's an eighth muse beautiful product okay on this one side the highlighting side i'm going to take the lighter product and I'm going to put it right there on my cheeks. And this does not give a look of high beam at all, at all, at all. It's just a very, very subtle uh, glow to your skin. Partly because it's that beautiful cream product, but partly because it just doesn't have a lot of, um, a lot of shimmer in it. It's just really pretty. And then the other side of the brush I'm going to take and I'm going to pick up the blush part. This is a beautiful mauve tone. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. But I don't want to get too much on. It looks like I might have too much on my brush already. Okay. Beautiful, gorgeous, mauve color. Oh my goodness. I love this blush color. And I love this brush too. You guys know I love my It Brush for cream products, but this one does almost as good and on sale right now too. I'm gonna just brush that blush all over my face to warm up my face and to give everything a cohesive look. I don't know when we got to where we couldn't put all of our products together on our face. I mean, I think that you know the sun hits our face like this so you got cheeks nose chin forehead so you really should be warming up all of those places as you place your makeup not just you know blush here and a little bit of bronzer it i i don't know that's the way i feel i feel like it needs to really blend together and so the more you blend the prettier your makeup is going to be now for this powder that i've been raving about mine is in breezy this is the cloud set from kosas oh my goodness i love this powder so i'm just going to take my beauty sponge with a little bit off of there and then i'm just going to lightly pat around here to blur everything out and you will instantly see how well that does with my pores and everything oh my goodness it just blurs so pretty and i love putting it on with the sponge because the sponge seems to just press it in and it doesn't um, just sit across the skin with a cakey look. I do want to mention this. Now, this is not something that I do every day, but I do want to mention this from Hourglass. This is their Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. This I'm going to take a BK Beauty 108 brush, and I'm just going to just put this in the center, the very center of my face all the way down, just to give light just right there, just those places where you know you want the brightness to be this is the fenty kilowatt um this one is in lightning dust and fire crystal and i i love these they're so pretty but since there isn't a super brightening uh, color in the tart palette that i've been using i'm going to just put this ever so lightly into this corner right here so that it can brighten that up a lot for lips i'm choosing to do just kind of a muted look this is bellflower from the sephora rouge and i adore this this is like my third one i just had to go pick a new one up because i was out this is kind of a mauvey muted pink color very cool toned and i can't talk and do this at the same time
fill my lips in with that as well all the way taking max angel and i'm going to put that right in the center to brighten up what i've been doing and then i'm going to take city beauty this is in oh my goodness san diego this is a beautiful color these are on sale as well uh buy one get one free i believe and i love this color because this is going to bring so much dimension to my lips and going to give a beautiful treatment to my lips this is my first time of trying this this is the tatcha luminous dewy skin mist I haven't tried this before. I do not spray these directly onto my face. I'm looking for my beauty blender. So let's see how this goes. This is the first time, like I said, I've used it. A little bit of spit there, which I'm not crazy about. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this all over my face and I'll let you know probably in the comment section how this works out. Very fine mist. I actually could probably, it worked out beautiful. It, it was an extremely fine mist. There was no need for me to put it on the Beauty Blender, but I'm just gonna go over it and pat it in. This is the Refer Eyelash Curler that is also on sale, and I love this thing. It is a little bit less curved, so I can get all of my eyelashes. You know, some eyelash curlers are super curved, and it's hard because you get like the edge ones. This one works so good. This is the Fenty Beauty Liner. This is a little mini that I have. Again, Fenty Beauty is 25% off and I am just laying it down almost to the edge, like maybe an eighth to a quarter inch away from the edge. And then I'm going to be using my Tarte Man Eater Mascara, which is also on sale. And I'm excited about this, that this has been on sale. It's one of my favorites. Builds up so much nice volume. I'm going to introduce you to one that I really like. This is from Item Beauty. It's something that I found at the Sephora sale. And this has the teeniest little wand. And I can just tip my lashes after I've used a very volumizing mascara like that one from Tarte. I'll just tip my lashes with this and it makes them super long, which I love. And it's so tiny that my shaking hands aren't a problem and it does a great job underneath. Isn't it just a huge difference from the eye that has mascara and liner on it to the eye that doesn't? I'm gonna do the other one off a of camera. I'll be right back with my hair done and some earrings on. Okay, friends, there's the finished look. The hair is down and it's done. And yes, I can link the earrings and I can link the shirt as well. For, and I love the puffy sleeves on it and it's long sleeved and it is ribbed. So it's one of my favorites. So let me know what you think of the finished look today. I just think it's a nice everyday wearable look if you're going shopping, if you're going to the office or whatever. And I do love that little wing right there as well that I've never been able to do before, but now I got the faux wing going. So it really works out really well. I hope that you did enjoy. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. And don't forget that almost everything that I use today is on sale and all those links will be below. Let me know what you think of it. I love you guys very much. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. <music>